yes, we've got one. Hey adventurers, welcome to Monterey Bay. Now one of the cool things about Monterey Bay is that as you travel from the south end to the north end, you pass through three different species of slender salamander. Now this is the southernmost species. This is the San Lucia Mountains slender salamander. It's a pretty big one too. Look at it go. Now hopefully we can find all three of the species of slender salamander that you find here around Monterey Bay. Let's get flipping. All right, time to put this guy back and see what else is around. Bye, fella. Check it out. Right there. Oh, he just jumped into me. The hat is a little tree frog. This is the Pacific tree frog. Now, these guys used to be split into three separate species along the West Coast, the Northern Pacific, the Sierra, and of course, the Baja Californian. But they've been lumped together, and so now, we just have one species. That actually used to be the case back in the day, but so it's cool to see this guy. Oh, he just won't stand still for us. He's probably got places to be on this rainy night. Bye, fella. All right, another nice hopper right here. That's that um, Pacific tree frog. This one is being a little nicer and staying still for us. Nice. Get a nice close up look. All right, we gotta go through this road, so up out of the way. These are always neat. This bright orange slug is a banana slug. And they're really common out here, but they are really big. Here, let me see if I can, if I can hold the flashlight and the phone with one hand. I can show you just how big it is next to my hand. They get bigger than this, but that's a good sized one. But these are really common out here in the redwood forest area. So excellent, <laughs> bright orange, bright yellow banana slug. Ooh, ooh. All right, this is the jackpot of a log. Look at that. We've got a couple salamanders there, a couple, a really nice long slender there. Another one there. There's another, what are we at? One, two, three, four, five. I think I saw one, six. Six of them, nice. Now these are all the Gab Gablian Mountain Slender Salamander. So that second species around Monterey Bay. This is awesome to see. This log was really great. And we have, I mean, it's a lot of nice adults if you want to get a nice close up look. Now, of course, Slender Salamanders, for the most part, they are all, they all look very, similar they're all basically identical and you got to look at um, either uh, measuring them with rulers or you have to do like molecular data so but it's the only slender salamander that's out here and so that's how we know exactly what it is range is our best friend here all right now it is a rainy night i am going to need both my hands what I like to do um, before I put this log back so none of them get crushed is I actually put them outside on the grass, put the log back, and then uh, let them crawl back under. Um, because if you can see, they're all sort of shifting around, and so there's a good chance that if I were to put this log back, because it's a big one, you can see, that uh, they might get crushed. So I'm going to do that, and we're going to keep going, see if there's more to find on this rainy night before... We go looking tomorrow for that third salamander in that slender salamander group. This is Schechter Natural History, and we're out here road cruising, and here we found a little hopper, little frog, and I'm just going to imitate being, um, you know, like a lot of those uh, makeup artists. Look at my new product, except it's a frog. <laughs> it's a frog! Well, the road tonight is covered with hoppers. We just had another tree frog run off that way, but I figured I'd stop to show you this guy. This is our Western toad. They don't quite have the same spring in their step. And you can see he's got that nice uh, cream colored stripe down the back. And he's also much more warty um, as, as toads generally are. So cool to see that as well. One more species for the night. And we're gonna, we're gonna lift him up and help him get off the road here because we are driving through and we don't want him to get squished. And that's great. So 
definitely been a good night to find amphibians out here. Well, this is nice. We just had a little Encetina on the road. And you, if you look closely at the eye there, you can see, let's zoom in a bit, that it's got some yellow on the top. This is a yellow-eyed Encetina. Um, and uh, we're actually pretty close where I think we may get some without that yellow. Those would be the Monterey Encetinas as well. But it's cool to see he is also out moving tonight with all the frogs. All right, we have made it into the Santa Cruz Mountains where we're gonna find that third slender salamander. This one is the California slender salamander. I have a feeling it might be under one of these logs. In fact, Tatiana, will you do the honors? Flip over the log. Anybody under it? No. Oh, that would have been really good. <laughs> okay, well, I'm sure we'll get one, one soon. We'll, we'll let's do one more and then maybe we'll We'll wait until nobody. All right. Well, we'll. I'm sure we'll find one. Oh, all right. Here we go. We have our last species of slender salamander. Look at him or her. Now, this actually, we were a little surprised. I thought we were going to get one on the very first log we flipped, but this was maybe the sixth or the seventh. Um, the nice thing about these California slender salamanders is they tend to be a lot more variable in color than some of the other species. So this guy has a little bit of brown hues to them. Maybe we'll find one that's more red in color to show you, but they can often be... Um, they can range from brown to red to gold, and they just seem to have a lot more color than some of the other species. So that is the trifecta of slender salamanders for this trip. And what an excellent way to get all three around Monterey Bay. All right. Bye, buddy. All right. We got one more. California Slender Salamander. This one's also pretty uh, brown in color. So we're still on the lookout for some of those nicer color ones. Oh, so Tatiana many. just found a bunch of newts in this water. I don't know if they were under this log that I had just flipped no, they're, up, they're literally just but tired. now they are but careful everywhere. But not to get so much muckiness. So that yeah, we it's, can a, see them. it's hard to find them. There's a little bit of glare. Now these are newts. And they're probably California newt, although there's a nice bright one over there. Um, although they could get rough skin in this area too. Did you guess Capitron? Oh, Tatiana just caught one. Here's a nice one walking around. All right, let's take a close look, Tatiana. Oh, <laughs> she's going to grab them all. Okay. All right. Take a look at that. These, These are my favorite. Look at that. They're so fun. You got four there, is that right? Yeah. Wow. And now, oh, just beautiful. Now we saw uh, an Encetina, a yellow-eyed Encetina yesterday, and you may notice that they look a little similar to these guys. The Encetinas are trying to mimic these guys. If we look closely at their eyes, you can see all that yellow in it, very similar to the yellow-eyed Encetina. Now these, these guys here are poisonous. They secrete oh. a toxin from their skin, oh, so it's just important <laughs> that you wash your hands after handling them. Um, the same? Huh? They're all the same? They, they look like they're all the same. They all look like they're California newt, although I might take a little bit closer look just to double check in a little bit. You don't think that this guy's different? You may have some males and females in the mix. Do any of them have little nubules on their fingers? Um, nice. Those are generally the males, if you can see it here. Let me grab this bigger one. Oh, maybe this one. This one looks like a male. You can see the swollen area down here um, and also those little nubs on the fingers where they will use that to grab onto the females. Nice. That is excellent. And this is just a little puddle that's in the road. So I'm actually a little worried about these nudes. They chose this spot, but uh, I could easily see a car driving through here and squishing them. But 
you know, there's a nice <laughs> river that's not too far from here, which I would hope that they would have chosen instead. But excellent, excellent find, Tatiana. This Ooh. is amazing. So cool. All right, we're going to let our little friends go. They didn't really go too far. <laughs> they kind of took their time. Maybe the water's not deep enough for them to yeah. swim away, but they're certainly in the puddle. This guy's making good effort there. Wow. They're starting to show more color. Yeah. They, I mean, some of these are quite yellowish orange. Um, yeah. This is, this is the march of the newts. <laughs> There they go. Take a look at these two newts. I wanted to show you them a little bit closer. If we look at this one on the left, we can see that the eyes just barely extend beyond the outline of the head. But on this one here, we get it at the same angle or a similar angle. It's a little, the camera's not focusing as well on it, but we can see that those eyes do not extend behind uh, past that outline of the head. Well, that is because these two guys are actually different species. This is a California newt, and this is a rough skin newt. They are often found in the same area, and so that is one of the main field marks that we look at. You may also notice that in the eye, uh, it's a little hard to focus on this, but you can see there's a lot of yellow on the California newt and a little bit more subdued on that rough skin newt. So we have a couple other indicators, but it is cool to see that these guys are inhabiting the exact same puddle in the road. So we have both our rough skin and our California newts here. And now the rough skin newts are known to be much more poisonous, um, but they often that is often aligned with how many uh, common garter snakes are in an area. And so... I haven't seen any yet, and I think they get much more abundant as we go further north. So cool to see two species here together. Oh, there's one. And another, and another, and another. Oh, wow. All those little orange bubbles. Yeah, so Tatiana just spotted this guy here, and then she looked closer, there. and there's another there, here. There. They seem to really do love these, these puddles that are just here in the parking lot. Um, and again, these are all going to be both California and rough skin newts. Let's take a quick look at this close guy. This is another, mm, this looks like another rough skin newt. Those eyes really do seem to not pass the edge of the head. And, uh, and this guy here also looks rough skin esque. Here's another one, and there's another one. And there's another one. Uh, yeah, another rough skin. So this is a group of rough skin newts. There may be a California in the mix here, like we had before. Very cool. A bit more natural setting. It's it's actually the parking lot right there. Um, but she found some more newts. Uh, at least two of these. I'm pretty confident. That really dark one. You can you can see right away those uh, those eyes kind of bulge out a bit more. That's definitely a California newt. And uh, one of the other ones definitely was a California, and the other one I wasn't quite sure of. They're definitely very, very similar species, and I'm glad we got that close-up before to show you the difference. But excellent to see these guys doing their thing. Thanks, Tatiana. Let's put them back. Oh, it's starting to rain. Yeah, it's starting to rain, which is exactly what's good for these guys. Bye, fellas. All right, we're just waiting under, you know, the redwood trees for a little break in the rain. But this is actually hail. I was not expecting that. The little tiny pellets did you catch one yeah, I, did. Um, I don't know if you can see it doesn't it's not going to show up very well but we're getting hailed on uh which i never ex really expected to happen out here in the redwoods but that's kind of cool Coming i guess down. a little different but yeah we're just gonna wait hope usually these things pass in just a second what do you, do you find something no just look at oh, the, just, so them the amount of rainfall or hail coming down yeah you can I, I don't know how well this will show up but lots of, you can you might be able to see all the little rock looking things that are that are splashing here on the on the log here it's kind of 
Uh, definitely a different uh, experience than what we usually get out in uh, southern, sunny California. All right, we saw some of these while road cruising, cruising last night, but you can see them in their natural habitat, not on a road. This is a banana slug. Nice, bright yellow slug. Oops, I'm sorry I touched it. Um, I don't know much about them other than you're not supposed to lick them because they'll <laughs> numb your whole mouth. So, uh, yeah, but they're cool. They're very abundant. This is not a big one. We may see others. They're generally, they're generally all over the place in these damp habitats. There's one. What'd you get? I think he's an Incetia. Whoa, look at that. Now this, Tatiana, that is a great example. You can see, let's get this, oh, this yeah. out of the way. You can see how similar this looks to those newts we were just fine with that yellow in the eye. They really look almost identical, but they're, they're a bit smaller, a bit gummier too. They are. So, but this is our yellow-eyed Encetina with an obvious name from that yellow in the eyes. And definitely the closest of our, of our mimics here. Bye. All right, this is interesting. So we've gotten a lot more rain in the last like 15 minutes as we've been here. And this puddle where we, where we showed you some of the nudes, it is all murky and we can't see a thing. So it's silly how just, you know, 10, 15 minutes can make the difference between finding, uh, finding your targets and missing out on them. All right, we are in a completely different habitat now, much more oak. We're out of the redwoods and look what we have right here. We have an Encetina. We just saw one of those earlier today, but now we're more inland. And look at its eyes. They're all black. This is not a yellow-eyed Encetina. This is a Monterey Encetina. Oh, here he comes. All right, just a reminder that this is the same species as that other Encetina we saw, just a different subspecies. There's seven different subspecies of these guys, and you can find them throughout most of California, especially on the coast, or even a little bit inland like we are now. But we are gonna let this guy crawl back under his log and hopefully find a bit more to show you. Whoop, jumping down. See you later. Well, I hope you enjoyed our adventure around Monterey Bay. We're still out here in the redwoods, and I feel like we did a pretty good job getting all of our slender salamander targets, but we did miss out on some of those other salamanders, the giant salamanders and the black salamanders. You'll just have to stay tuned, as I'm sure they'll show up again in another episode. Thanks for watching. I'm Greg Schechter. This is Schechter Natural History, and I'll see you in the field.